As a software engineer, on paper, you can work from literally anywhere in the world. Coding languages, usually centered around English, allow us to have this kind of universal way of speaking. And so on paper, if tomorrow you would like to find a job, I don't know, right now I'm in Hungary, I would like to go back to Canada, this is something I can, on paper, do. And this is, in my opinion, one of the biggest advantage about this career, let's say, this job path. And this is what I wanna talk about today. There is obviously the full-time job aspect of it, but I wanted to start with something. If you're a student watching this and you have the opportunity to go in another country, oh my God, don't even think twice do it. During my first two years after high school, in this wonderful establishment, MME Montbéliard in the east of France, if any of you is watching, hi. This is why I started my studies, and why studying there, we had the opportunity on the second year to go on a six-month trip to Montreal, Canada, to Vanier College. This was as an exchange student, and I remember before going there, we had this general assembly talking about this opportunity, with one of the professors saying, this at 18 years old is obviously very scary to go by yourself in another country, but if you do it now, it will open your mind to the taste of traveling, and this is something you will not stop doing afterwards. And now, almost six years later, I can confirm that's, that's the case. I fell in love with the city of Montreal, came back, was catapulted into Paris, and did everything I could to go back in this beautiful country. I did, for yet another semester, this time as an intern, coming back to France to finish my engineering diploma, and now working in Hungary for a US-based company. And so, on paper, between the east of France, Montreal, Paris, and now Budapest, not including some few weeks trip for work-related reasons, this job allowed me to travel a bunch. It obviously is not the stable way of living, meaning that since 2017 I haven't spent one entire year in one single apartment or country, but oh my god, does it feel like a sort of renaissance to discover that with these jobs, the world literally becomes a playground. One thing I am going to say though, at least it's something I see right now, studying and internships, this is where I think is the easiest to find job opportunities and just travel opportunities in general. I really think that because as an intern, you are obviously not paid the full price of an engineer. You don't require that much value to have a good return on investment for a company. So it's kind of easier to sell yourself. But now, as an actual full-time software engineer, it is much more difficult to sell to a company abroad, hey, this is where I live, I am willing to relocate, are you ready to take the risks for me to come to your country, maybe you work out the visa, to hope that maybe after a probation of three months or something like that, it will work. This is what I mean by if you have the opportunity while being a student, please take it. And apart from completely relocating to a different country and find a job over there, we also have the incredible luck to have a job that is doable fully remote and usually preferred that way. Well, usually preferred that way, not for every single company, but remote working can be video on its own. But I'm pretty sure you heard this term before, digital nomad, essentially being able to go wherever you want in the world and work remotely on whatever project you have. This is literally what I've been doing as a freelancer on the site. I've been working with companies based in Canada, East Coast, of the US, West Coast, couple of countries in Europe, and every time, only thing changing from one country to another, apart from culture, obviously, is the time difference. And that's all. Something that is also amazing about discovering another country, whether you work there as a full-time employee or a freelancer, it teaches you a new way to embrace different cultures of working. Being lucky to have work with people from different countries, there obviously are major differences between one country to another. I'm not saying that one is better, everything is just very different. And I think this is also why people might like to see this on a CV. It just goes to show that you had to adapt yourself to other cultures and being able to be a team player, whoever is in front of you working together on a particular project. There you go, this was my rent for today. As you can see, different background, I just moved. Now that my station is back on track, we will for sure be back to a regular upload schedule. Did you have the opportunity to work abroad? If that's the case, please share your story in the comments, let me know what I missed, and apart from that, I see you all very soon on the internet. Bye bye everyone.